Hello and back again with me Hendra and for this video I've got a special board which is an Arduino compatible board from Malaysia a near country a country near my country which is uh, my country is Indonesia this is an awesome board from Cytron uh, Cytron is actually already making a few uh, modules uh, basically a robotics module uh, they also make a few Arduino compatible module, but for this year and actually this month, they uh, they launched a new kick, uh, Kickstarter uh, for their own board, which is this board, a Macaruno. Fortunately, uh, I have an early access directly, not from Citron, but from a friend of mine, which has connect uh, has a connection to Citron. So for uh, for you guys that uh, already been already back the project, you guys are awesome because this is an awesome board, and this is an overview on how you on um, what you will get later after the Kickstarter has been uh, founded or has ended. Actually, it's already been fully founded. I think it's already reached its a hundred. Uh, sorry, one thousand percent goal which is awesome so directly is uh, so we'll get to the board this is a macro uno from Cetron we will see the box it's macro uno compatible macro uno compatible and you see this is the box uh, has uh, space for to put your name in it so I think I'm gonna put my name uh, here my name awesome and uh, yeah, so this box belongs to me now. Nobody will take this box from me. <laughs> also, the board from me. <laughs> so, and then uh, we're gonna see the board. Which way? How to open? Oh, this is the tab to open the board. You can see the board is come from Malaysia, product of Malaysia. And we'll see. Oh, actually, the box itself. Could be used as the box for the Macro Uno itself. You see, it has some hole in here to put your uh, micro USB power here, so you can use the, the box anytime you want uh, to use with your project. Uh, we'll see the box. It's actually awesome. We see there is quick startup guide. Scan the QR code below. It's already where, where, where's the QR code? Where's the QR code? QR code, or oh, I don't know, there must be some QR code in there. Or forward the link to get started. Let there be like, as you can see, the blink uh, examples is already in the. Actually, this is an Arduino compatible. And your command, it also has a thumb feature in here, which I will explain later. This is the board, and we'll see directly go, go directly to the board. Oh, there's a QR code. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you're, you're sneaky. Okay, so the board itself, as you can see, an Arduino compatible pins, um, 14 GPIOs, yeah, 14 input outputs, digital input outputs, uh, six analog input or analog to digital converter, and the usual power pins and analog reference shenanigans, as you will know in. Arduino, we got 5 volt, 3.3 volts, 2 ground, and a voltage input in here. Is it a voltage input? I don't know. It should be a voltage input. Hmm. Well, probably it's voltage input. As you can see in here, it uses the SMD version of Atmega 328P, as this one. Uh, 16 megahertz crystal here. The difference between this Macro Uno and the Arduino original Arduino is this serial USB, sorry, USB to serial converter. It uses CH340G, which is an awesome USB to, uh, to serial. It's cheap and it's really re reliable. I've already used this in the Wemos board. It's really, really awesome. Rather than using the PL, sorry, is it PL or CP2102? I don't know. Uh, between those two. But this is awesome because it's cheap and it's re really reliable. Okay, that's the difference between uh, Macro Uno and the Arduino Uno. The, uh, the pin is the same, 
but USB serial is uh, different. And and the feature that the uh, Micron have, then the Arduino Uno, that the Arduino Uno doesn't have, is these few things. First, as you can see here, we have cool L SMD LEDs that uh, embedded uh, beside the digital pins. In total, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. 12 LEDs on board, which is awesome. So you don't have to blink pin 13 anymore. You can, you have, you can, you could blink uh, any kind of digital pins LEDs to check if your digital pin is high or low. We have the input buttons in here. I don't know, is it connected? Which pins? Uh, I will check on it later. It has onboard button uh, to check uh, for becoming an input. It has a reset button, as yes, usual. It's, it's the same uh, with the Arduino Uno. And what makes this awesome, it has switch. <laughs> yes, you can see it has switch. Switch to control the SMD speaker or SMD buzzer in here. This buzzer is awesome. It's better than the usual buzzer uh, that I use. Uh, to make, uh, to, for using, uh, for using an, an PWM examples or any kind of uh, tone related or song related uh, project with your Arduino. And at the bottom, as you can see, this is the same. Uh, can I also uh, write on this? Uh, I cannot uh, write on this board using this pen. So I also have a name label in here, so you can put uh, anyone's name. And uh, if you search screen in here, this board is specially designed to students learning electronics and programming for the first time. So it's really, uh, this board is really for the basic, for the beginner of the Arduino. So you can uh, directly code without any breadboard or any external components. You can directly learn digital input, digital output, and some tones in here. And also a lot of things that Arduino can do. So. Right after the box, as usual, us uh, sorry, usually we will have a blink example, right? Right after the box, if you buy a new Arduino compatible board, it usually runs blinks. But this board is different. <laughs> this board is <laughs> different because out of the box, it runs a, a unique kind of sample code. Let me try and let me show it to you. Three, two, one. Hopefully I don't get any disclaimer for that song. <laughs> it's a really common song. As you can see, it run the buzzer. It run all the the cool LED and it also run the uh, input button example to change the direction of the running LED. As you can see, the tone is kind of remind me of uh, some games few years back where the birds flapping its wings and Pressing itself with a pipe. See? <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this is an awesome board. It has power LED, 3 volt and 5 volt. And then the all digital pins LEDs, except for the RX and TX, I guess. Yep, RX and TX doesn't have any LED on board because it will uh, it will uh, make the serial connection a little bit buggy if you put LED on there, I guess, right? Uh, for comparison, I think I have my Uno. Uh, I have my Uno. I haven't, uh, for this video, I will tear this Uno apart, <laughs> open this Uno. Oh, man. Ah, as you can see, this is an Arduino Uno clone. As you can see, the Micro Uno is a bit uh, wider because it needs to put the LEDs in the side of the board. The, the Uno, the Arduino Uno is a bit heavier. This one is a bit lighter. I don't know how many grams. Yeah, this one is a, it's a bit heavier. As you can see, it's almost the same for the pin, but for the component, there are a few differences. Oh, I forgot to mention. Arduino Uno uses this uh, USB B type or A type, I forget, but this is a uh, USB port they usually use in printer nowadays, which is not very common. And also, it has the barrel jack for 12 uh, volt 
inputs from the micro uno uses micro USB, micro USB which means you can use a phone charger directly into the micro uno and uh, there are no barrel jack because the barrel jack has been replaced with the buzzer LEDs. So that is the Micro Uno overview and unboxing of the Micro Uno. If you want to buy the board, uh, you still can, if you want to get the board, you still can back the Kickstarter. I will put the link down below. And kudos to Cyphron for making this awesome board. I will uh, maybe try this board for a few students of mine, which is like maybe, oh, for the price, also. sorry, I forget for the price. For the price is six dollar you see it's all, it's all this feature only six dollar which is you can get any more cheaper than that and it's really in good quality rather than you buy an, a clone <laughs> this one is a clone sorry i'm a bit ashamed to <laughs> share this with you this one is, is a clone actually it's a bit a bit more expensive because this thing uh, it costs about uh, nine dollar yeah this one is nine dollar this one is six dollar this one is two dollar more but no feature, any extra feature on it. Six dollar full feature, an awesome board, and you can do a lot of things with this directly without any breadboard. Okay. So again, thanks uh, to Citron for making this offer of you videos for <laughs> letting me, letting friend of mine get uh, an early access. So I can get an early access to the Micro Uno board. So if you want to uh, back the project please uh, click the link down below because this is an awesome board and maybe they will stop uh, more later. <laughs> I don't know how, how, how many stop they have because it's already been uh, a thousand percent funded <laughs> which is already much board has already been uh, back so yeah thanks for watching uh, subscribe if you want because as you know <laughs> I only have few subscribers but I will keep making another videos uh, it will be a, a not a routine uh, schedule but I'm gonna try my best to do uh, uh, make her related videos uh, so subscribe if you want if you, if you want to get notified if I make a new videos click that bell button as usual so this is Hendra keep making and also sorry let's start making something Descenta. Goodbye.